Hello and welcome to this new video of Life is Tumblr. Let's go. New episode. Previously on Life is Strange. Four out of Whoa. five. And I hear the fifth is the shortest you don't know one. Who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with? Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have From to Rachel find Rachel herself. Soon. Now we get that. It's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Rachel in the dark room sounds like a great I horror title. Of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. I know, fuck off. You don't have to tell me that before every single episode. And also, fucking stop lying. I wish there was a choice-driven game that in which the choices really 100% mattered. Like, they would all have many different endings depending on the choices. All the choices, like a single choice different, would get a different ending. Because so far, many of those games pretend to that. But the endings are all pretty much the same, with very few differences at best. And sometimes not even different endings. So I really wish there was a game like that, that really goes all the way with the choice. But I don't think there's any of them. I think the main problem with it is the fact that they're episodic. So because of that, like, you have to make sure that every episode connects. When you could simply make sure that you have a full game, and that way you can end it at any fucking moment. But sadly, this is not one of them. This one's actually one of the worst offenders. Well, I'm joking. The worst offender should be technically the Wolf Among Us. The choices do not fucking matter. You get the same ending no matter what. You guys could have at least flown the corpses away. <laughs> it's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. So what the fuck happened it to you? It's nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. So, Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. 
Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least. <laughs> what do you mean? You kind of know how they feel? They're all dead. Also, there's like, what? One, two, three, four, five? What the fuck? You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want What the fuck happened to her? Can we talk about that? I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off when I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. She's so much of a better friend now. The Rachel still fucking disappeared now? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. I mean, it's stuff that... Yeah, but I don't care. Even if tough shit happened to her, like, she still became a fucking bitch. Here, look. She fucking broke a fucking spine, and now she's in a fucking wheelchair forever. And she's nice. She's fucking nice. She had worse shit happen to her in that timeline. And she's nice. That actually makes no sense when you think about it. Yeah, when you think about it, that makes no sense. You're still technically the same person. So, you still should have turned into a bitch, but in a wheelchair. Unless you were very easily influenced. So I guess Rachel was very influential. Damn, Rachel was a bitch. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... She lost a fucking spine and working body. That's a lot more than anything else. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. She doesn't even know if Rachel died or anything. Yet. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see I'm you. Sure she died. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um my my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place. It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No offense. Same. None taken. I don't know, losing any kind of feeling in your body kind of sounds worse than losing all the people you love. All two of them. If it were three or four, I would argue. What do you mean, three? Well, she didn't lose Max. Only for some time. Feels like a high-tech cell. 
But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. Okay, fine. I, know I guess it makes sense. You're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Can I stay in that timeline? I don't want to go back to the other one. Take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Wow, you got a fuck ton of snow globes. Oh, that's a cute teddy bear. Where's the water? Wait, where the fuck's the water? Is that water? That does not look like water. She's got a badass computer, I like it. Well, actually... <laughs> the screen is badass, the computer is less. Where the fuck is that? Oh, there's the water! Drink up, buttercup. Hmm. Well, she should have thought. Oh, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, y y with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my... as an assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. What friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. Yeah, I don't. She was Ooh. cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things Kind work. of, yeah. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I well, think duh, I mean, <laughs> have you seen your state? <laughs> you kind of have to. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks in the middle. At least you fucking insane. have insurance. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out makes together no sense. and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I sure. Friend. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. No, she doesn't, actually. She I'll looks like crap. Or natural hair color looks better. Me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. So is there the actual fucking movie Blade Runner in the fucking thing? I wish there is because uh, I never watched it and I kind of always wanted to. 
here's the DVD. Well, fucking lucky. Also, Blade Runner DVD in 2015? Really? Dead release? Blade Runner DVD release. Let's see. When did the DVD release? DVD released in 2007. <laughs> so at least it works. They could have had that DVD. <laughs> and I fell asleep. I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company. Can I, I just finish the game there? It's great. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think Why? I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Good luck with those bills. Shut the fuck up. Wow, she's a way different girl in that timeline. Both of them. Victoria actually sounds like a good person. Wow, Max, you're a bitch in that timeline. Don't ever go back to your main timeline. You can fix that timeline. Wow, you were literally avoiding her in that timeline. You're a bitch. <clears throat> what?
Yo, yo, Max. You're around in the dark room developing shots for the contest. Well then, I guess I know who the fucking uh, killer is. The teacher. Photo teacher. <laughs> That's fucking. That kind of fucking reveals it. And the fucking sleeve on the gun looking just like his sleeve because he seems to be the only one wearing black. And that hand didn't look small enough to be his hand. So. Sup, mom? Oh my fucking god. I mean, that screenshot looked like his hand. Is that it? Let me check everyone. Yep. So, how does it work that she keeps her personality and stuff, but she's actually in another timeline? Like, it's, it's like she jumped back to present time, but in that timeline, that's weird. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. No, that's fucking not. She used essential oils. That's not going to work. Trust me. That shit doesn't work. The bathroom looks almost the same. I know because my sister She's uses them. Medicine. And trust me, she gets sick way more often than me. How's it going, time tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. And then she's like, well, sometimes vaccine can give you the fucking, uh, fucking, um, illness. Here it is. I'm like, of course it can, I never thought I'd be because your immune system might be shit. Those essential, those essential oils don't actually help your immune system, but whatever. That looks like nobody from this game did one of the developers just put his picture in the game and like and were like nobody will notice. Wow, so she so she's in the garage. Neat. There's your morphine. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Fuck happened with the shadows, so though. I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. What the fuck is going on with the shadows? Else? Um, blinking. Stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. And then she died. Are you dead yet? I feel like this fucking episode will be like, I've got to pull out your heartstring, and now that Chloe is nice, she'll die! Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. To the shadow realm. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken I wish I could actually fucking see that picture. The chance. There's still time for you. What do you mean? There's no time for you? There's a lot of time. I can rewind it. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. 
Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? You're gonna die, I knew it! saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. I just love how the facial expressions in this game are shit. But the one thing they managed to nail is wet eyes. <laughs> yes, I do. That's the one thing they managed to nail down. But the fucking facial expressions are garbage. What did she want me to do again? Cat. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. That's assisted suicide. She has made up her mind. She's eighteen. It's all good. I'm sad that I have to kill you. I wish I would have killed the other one instead. But at least you'll Thank die you a good so girl. Much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. At least it's a calm death. Okay, now let's not roll back. Let's live in that timeline. That's a good timeline. Let's still try to solve the problem with Rachel. Okay? Chloe would have liked that. No, I don't want to. Let me go. No, stop. Stop. I don't want to. Fuck. No. No. I didn't want to skip. Fuck. Hey, you're alive! <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> what is up? Fuck, I'm stuck in that, aren't I? Great, so there's no fucking choice. Skip, 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 skip. Sure, I'll accept again. Chloe. And wait, there's a. Oh, I can't focus on the window at all. And I can't move, so... Yeah, okay, cool. I guess I don't have to... I Sorry, can't fucking I attain that timeline. Bitch, you just fucking ruined the timeline, and then you're like, I'm gonna go back in another timeline. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Hey, Can you, like, try to tell him watch out on the road? Or anything? Or like, try to tell him, do not give Max a car ever. Uh, I mean, Chloe. Dad, don't 
Would you do that, you dumb bitch? You literally know how to prevent the accident. And you're like, no, I'm just gonna let her dad die and not even prevent Chloe's accident. Why are you a dumb bitch? Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Well, that was shit. Bitch, you didn't say strong. I love how she started with just one um shade of blue just just like one and then she went like full blue head nobody ever took that picture what the fuck yes i get it i'm going back in my timeline somehow even though i told her something i never actually told her She wasn't, though. That was another timeline, Chloe. Our actual timeline, Chloe, is a fucking bitch. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Oh, yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. How did Since I end up here? I night playing CSI Arcadia Bay. I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. How did I end here? I was in her own room. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the pot. Keep. <sighs> so close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? I just realized most of the stuff Decide in the background doesn't have any shadow. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Like, look at those Three, beer bottles on the ground. They have no shadow. tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind... Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad the fuck up? we have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you... Are you trying to fight out... Today. Oh, multiple fucking step name possibles 
I can't Everybody lies, no exception. Well then. It's way too this butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Not that much, actually. I avoided a fuck ton of them. Wait, what did she want me to do? <laughs> Why do I never fucking listen to what Chloe says? Okay. Okay. Oh my fucking god! Stop talking to me, people! Okay. So max. What the fuck? Who the fuck is Justin? Who the fuck is Justin? <laughs> I don't even know that guy. Wait, who the fuck is that? Juliet? Who's Juliet? What's up, Dad? Okay, I don't know what she asked me to, so uh, let's go see our stepdad. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. In that locker, the lock locker, seven one seven one. Okay, easy. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Fuck. I knew that number would be important. I mean, if I didn't remember the number, I would have force locked it. Oh, Fuck! Maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Neat. Anyway, sorry I went over a little bit too long. So thank you all so much for watching this video of Life is Tumblr. Strange and absolutely gay. I'll see you next time in the next video. Okay.